Ice cream. Mm-hmm. I know. I, I'm mm-hmm. one of these people that enjoys such a gu- guilty pleasure. There's a brand new spot in my neighborhood in the beaches. Mm-hmm. A new marble slab creamery. They have 27 stores across Ontario. 65 in Canada. Woo. Started out in Texas, which a lot of people don't know is, is a hotbed for, for, for <laughs> the ice creams. Please welcome Leanna Duncan, yeah. everybody, from Marble Slab Creamery. Hello. Hi. Now, Leanna's here to unveil the Mad Dog and Belly Breakfast Show ice cream. Yeah, so from this Marble is slab very creamery. exciting. This is something you did uh, just solely with Mad Dog because I had no input in this whatsoever. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just so you know. Correction. The email was sent to both of us. Oh, okay. You could just clearly see whose priorities were bigger. Oh, well, yeah, for you sure. jumped right on this. I jumped you right jumped, on it. You jumped. I didn't even have a say. You, you picked it. <laughs> I, I, I don't even know what's in it. Now, I haven't tried it. Now, I remember picking my actual flavors plan at Mori. But uh, I don't see them on the list here. So I'm going from memory. I believe what I picked for this was coffee-flavored ice yeah. cream, amaretto, and then chocolate sprinkles. So what I tried to con- what I tried to do is I look at our show as a specialty coffee. It's going to wake you up, but it might also just leave you a little bit inebriated for work. No, no, no. You just you, Everything you eat, you eat it with booze. <laughs> you picked the one thing that had booze in it. You know what? Contrary to popular belief, most stuff that you think has booze in it doesn't. That's <laughs> Is it good? Have you tried? Like Jack Daniels. First time trying this. Like Jack Daniels barbecue sauce. No booze. (laughs) (laughs) So that's it there. That's the Mad Dog and Billy morning buzz. Oh my god, this is really good. Oh, it's called the morning buzz. Yeah, Yeah. it's cute. Mm. Billy's gonna try it now, everyone. No. Mmm. Now, what did you think of our flavors when we actually picked them? We should give you a chance Um, to talk. I was surprised you guys didn't add in more mix-ins. Mix-ins are like the chocolate sprinkles. Mm. Most people usually add in cookie dough. Uh, we have fruits, so strawberries, pineapples. We have about 36 different flavors. Well, if you've ever oh, listened to us before, yeah. you'd know that we're very simple people. Yeah. Straight up. Very That's simple. Mm. So, like, a- after three, we get confused with it, and it would be hard to actually order it. Because oh, okay. I wouldn't know. <laughs> now, we're actually going to compete against other people that have put together flavors mm-hmm. around, around the GTA. So, I think by, by keeping it a simple flavor, Billy, I think this is what's going to put us ahead. Because I know other people... Mm-hmm. They put together like 95 flavors in one, which to me is just a hodgepodge. And which, what's your favorite kind? My favorite is ours, the course. birthday bonanza, what's which that? is one of our tasty creations. It's birthday cake ice cream with sprinkles and gummy bears. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. wow. Gummy bears in the ice cream. See, our slogan for this should be, come for the chocolatey goodness, stay for the booze. <laughs> <laughs> so why is marble slab cream, why is your, it's very creamy ice cream, mm-hmm. why is it different it's than really like regular ice cream? Well, basically, you come into our store, there's 48 different flavors to pick from. We make all of our flavors in store, fresh mm. on site daily, all made from natural ingredients. We also make all our cookie dough, our brownies, our cones, everything in store. Mm. You come in, you pick your flavor, then we take you over to our frozen marble slab, mm-hmm. which keeps everything nice and cold. You pick one of our mix-ins, like your chocolate sprinkles, and then there's fruits, candies, anything you wish, mm. and we mix it all in for you. And mm-hmm. serve it on one of our freshly baked waffle Now, how do you how do you stay so svelte? Because you're you're a very attractive lady. If I if I <laughs> worked there, I would be five hundred pounds. Oh <laughs> no, you you don't end up eating as much as you think. Mm. You do when we make the ice cream. We kind of do little tastes here and there, mm. so you kind of get your fill that way. <laughs> right, right, okay. All right, quick trivia question for you, Billy. Yes, and you're not allowed to answer this because you know because you're an ice cream you're an ice cream expert. Okay, how many licks does it take to finish a single scoop? How many, how many licks, approximately? Do you think? Look, I'm physically doing it. <laughs> yeah, um, 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 look like you're trying to get to the middle of a Tootsie Roll pop. I know. The hand gesture. Never mind. Um, I would say 47. Ooh. 50 licks? We're going to give you that one. Oh, yay. You only threw a lot of it. You're the faster wow. licker. Yeah. So listen, as you will let that one go. As you make your way around the GTA, make sure you order the Mad Dog and Billy. What's it called? The Mad Dog and Billy Morning Buzz. All right. Thanks for coming Great. in. Thank you. Thanks for the ice cream. Mm-hmm. Just leave the amaretto there. <laughs> 725. The Breakfast Show with Mad Dog. We've made it, Taylor K. Yes. We've made it to the big time. I don't know if you know, uh, if you remember last year, somebody named a sandwich after us. Mm-hmm. The Rush Sandwich. It was quite delicious. I ate quite a few because uh, they were free. They were. Um, <laughs> and they were delicious. Uh, <laughs> and now that what we're getting an ice cream named after us. We're getting an saying? ice cream named after us. Wow. Now, we actually have to name the ice cream. It's from uh, Marble Slab Creamery. They're popping up all over the place, yep. in, and they're all over Ontario. There's one like at uh, Young Street, just at Dundas. There's one uh, east, like in the beach beaches. And let me tell you, Biggs and I are arguing right mm. now over our name because uh, I'm going to be making the ice cream for us. I'll put it on the blog, and oh, we're taking suggestions of wait, ingredients. Wait, wait, wait! Don't you're not actually going to make it. You're going to design what they put. Don't I'm tell gonna, people you're actually touching it because then they're not going to eat it. I'm designing it. Right. The ice cream. Yes. Thank you. And. 
Oh. I have come up with a name, but Biggs and I are mm-hmm. arguing, so call us at 872-9999 well, to tell us that I'm right. Right. We're both chocolate junkies, so as long as there's as much chocolate in as you can get, that's all that matters, and we need your help naming it, because Taylor's lame name is... Chocolate Rush. Yeah. Simple. It's PC. My name is uh, Chocolate Chunk Rush Flesh, so uh, it sounds delicious. This you, is what's going to... You want to eat a piece of the Rush? It's right there just, in, oh. in chocolate form. So whoever you'd like to agree with, or if you have a better name, 872-9999, and it just has to be chocolatey. There's going to mm-hmm. be chocolate chips in it, score, right. brownie chunks, everything chocolatey. You look at it, you get fat. It's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll find out how many sold in the month of May, which is great. <laughs> yeah. If people loved. Well, if we're going for sales, maybe chocolate chunk rush flesh, probably not the best name. So maybe a little help. Triple nine double nine. text it in or call us at 416-872-9999. Chocolate Rush. Named after us. Now we're going to have an ice cream named after us. Marble Slab Creamery locations across Ontario are going to so carry good. an ice cream named after us, Biggs. So good. And we've argued about the name. Yep. Not the ingredients. Nope. We've Chocolate, chocolate, more chocolate, yeah. and chocolate. Any chocolate we can put in there yes. is all good. Even like chocolate-infused chocolate. I don't know if that's physically I'm possible. I'm sure you can do that. Uh, we got a text. Uh, one, uh, my favorite name off the text is uh, Chocolate Rushgasm. That wasn't that wasn't horrible. It didn't suck. Are they channeling you? I, so your your name know. again, mine is a pretty good one called Chocolate Rush. Right. And mine has something to do with what was it? Chocolate Rush Flesh. <laughs> yeah, right, something like that. What who are you with? Tell me. Well, I was thinking about the Chocolate Virgin. Chocolate Virgin. That is an interesting it's name. A little, little sexy, little, little little naughty. I like yeah. it. Yeah, I, like it. I think it's good. How about, <laughs> how about chunky uh, chocolate virgin flesh? Okay, no. No. Thank you. Bye. Virgin Radio. Hi, I just wanted to call and tell you that I think um, Taylor's idea for the ice cream yes. name is probably the better one. Yes. All right, all right. I have a Chocolate new. I have a new one. Rush. I have a new one. Yummy ice rush balls. It's not PC. No one's gonna go. To- what? It's balls of ice. It's what ice cream is. You. you that, where's your mind, filthy people? Taylor you, wins. Let's oh. let's just do one more for fun. Vir- Virgin Radio. <laughs> just to know that Hi. I'm right. What should we name our ice cream? Uh, well, I was thinking you could call it Chalk Full of Rush. 